it can end up playing very well. I think the World Championships is an example of that. He hoped to start off with a, a tip that will last all the way through. No, that's too thin. So, a little edgy. Jeremy White. Both players. Yeah, as we uh, see the miss again from Jimmy White, you know, White's playing a lot better at the moment than he was last month when they met. O'Sullivan's got the issue with the tip, but although the signs point to potentially a better result for White, as O'Sullivan misses that one, he's still got to put four frames on the board, and that's easier said than done. Playing on the main match table for the first time in the tournament. But that tip uh, could be an issue today for O'Sullivan. I think certainly, though, Jimmy White comes into the match feeling more confident than he did last month. He's had some good results. He's qualified for Berlin. He's played well this week already, not lost a frame. So he must be feeling better in general and more able to play his natural game rather than what we saw in Belfast, which is when he, was, he went slow, he went negative, didn't play the Jimmy White game at all. This is uh, very troublesome. The, uh, the red does slip past the black. What are you thinking? Not very tight. But it was quite hard for him to, to get a good safety shot in from where the balls were. Black there at his mercy. He thought he'd play as a shot to nothing. Well, he's looking a little bit uh, disappointed with a couple of shots. Hopefully for him, his concentration's there. Oh, well, that's unlucky, actually. Four. It was a very thin part. I mean, keep, I think, probably got, went in before the, the red got to the pocket. Right, Leo Scully and the referee for this match. Good to see Leo back. We've seen him in the last few months. He's come back from very serious illness in the last two or three seasons. Nice to see him back officiating. on the green is very handy otherwise I don't think he's on a ball it was a good pot
Well, that is the worst outcome. I mean, he's not on a red at all oh. with the black there. Well, I don't know if that red will pass the black. I mean, Ronnie had a, a red at a similar angle, albeit nearer to the pocket, which he thought didn't pass it. So it's going to have to be a safety shot, I think. Jimmy White, four. Well, a rather edgy start. But, of course, these two, you know, legends of the game, but not immune to all the talk around the match and the build-up as well. I guess they want to put on a show, but snooker's a tough game. And Ronnie's hardly played a shot as he meant to so far. Even that shot hitting the jaws of the middle bag. Almost every shot has been so unlike him. Again. <coughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? You just can't even get a shot right. Uh, it's, a, it's quite incredible. It's never really unlucky when you hit the jaws of the middle pocket and the cue comes back because it's clearly a misjudgment. Biggest day of these Home Nations events, Thursday, with you know, two matches in a day. The round of 32 followed by the round of 16 tonight. We go from what's been a very big field the last few days. We started with 1-2-8 and then by the end of this evening, 8 will remain. Another shot that's oh, not gone to plan. Jimmy Finishing Wait, about four. a couple of centimetres short of the bunch. In a minute, he'll play one that uh, he'll be pleased with, I'm sure. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Going to play the same shot anyway, so it probably doesn't matter that much if they're fractionally out. Going to try and play it better, though, and he has. Well, I'm not making excuses for Ronnie O'Sullivan, but I think that the fact that he's got a new tip uh, and uh, with half an hour practice with it, he's um, just struggling. Struggling to find any range. All the shots are different. Any snooker player watching would, would know that you need more than half an hour, but these things happen. And these reds converging over the black, it, it make you wonder whether it might end up not a stalemate for sure, but certainly a fairly a cautious start to the match. Because often when you see this, the reds get closer and closer to the black. There's something else to give. There's no other shots and keep chipping reds towards it.
That's a really nice safety shot. There is an edge, though, that Ronnie can get to. Again, chipping a red towards that right corner. He likes that draw of that middle bag on the other side, doesn't he? He's hit about four times so far. Well, the, the red that he might play here is kind of directly towards the black. He could chip it in. If he isn't careful on this, does he hit it thicker or thinner than the what would be the, effectively the potting angle? He's playing a different shot. I understand why. Well, this is a good one. Whipping the cue ball around the angles. That's a very fine safety shot from Jimmy White. Well, so far it's been a bit more Charlton Griffiths than O'Sullivan White, this. Obviously the black going near the corner hasn't helped. here with left hand side to find a thin edge that's a good comeback from Jimmy <laughs> well we kind of did predict this might happen not before the match I might add just during when the black went safe I'm only trying to stop something from turning into a stalemate there but, uh, he's played a good shot Anyway, it's not quite a snooker, but the black is now away from there, so that might change things. I don't know if there's any sort of a plant in there, about seven ball plant or something, but doesn't think they're quite lined up, those cluster of reds on the right of the table. This is also a good shot. I still see an escape. Red down from the pink on the right. He'll play. Swinging the cue ball back up to Bonk. Well, Ronnie, I think, was getting a little fed up with that whole stalemate situation and has taken a gamble. I think, as he left the red on, this must be a tight one. Jimmy looking down the line of the shot. No, as you can see, not even with a little bit of swerve can he get to that. Unless he really bent down on it, actually, maybe he is playing it with a lot of right-hand side. Well, he could get to it with a swerve. That was a great shot. It was a big swerve. That's a fine shot. As long as you get past the green and play it slowly enough, the side has time to react. going to be difficult to get the reds open. I wonder if he's on the one he's close to. Eleven. Thank 
had amended the arrangement. Jimmy Hoyt. It's a very difficult shot to play, goodness. But the table is pretty difficult to make anything happen with as well. I mean, 24 points deficit. One. Let's see how he goes about this. The Reds are really tightly bunched, and he has to play a, some shot to just free them all. But it's not happening here. Seven. I don't know if the, the pink pops up into the top left, but he's on the black anyway. How do you play this? Drag it in or try to swing the cue around the angles? Well, there's a new tip shot again. I want to keep on about this, but you hit them thick, those shots. They just push left hand side and it goes to the right and uh, hits too much of the black. It'll be on Molly O'Sullivan's mind, I can tell you. Yes, if he starts to lose confidence in his queuing, then he could have problems. Highest break so far in this match, 11. One. I mean, those reds, six reds, they're all in the, in the line. It's unbelievable. How on earth do you get those in play? It's not really a very good angle on the blue to do so either. A bit thin. Jimmy Hoyt, one. Jimmy put in a quick one there. Didn't really bring the cue back as he would hope. But look at again, there's just nothing there. I mean, he could roll up to the first red, but it's not in his nature to play that shot unless he's got nothing else. So that's all he's done. Oh, oh foul. Yeah. And uh, he left the queue there too long, and the red came back and hit the, the tip of his queue. It wasn't a foul until the shot was played, if you watch. There you go. They're the foul points in the frame, 16 so far. Well, he's uh, done his best to open things up, but it's just an awkward table. Well, if that's a two-ball plant, I mean, both threads would have to be really flush against the right cushion. So I don't 
don't think he's going to be interested in that. Rory O'Sullivan, nine. I think in an ideal world, he'd love to just lay up to, not those two reds, but the red to the left of shot, just in behind where the pink is, somewhere down there. That would be a perfect place to leave the cue ball, but it's hard to get there. And the more you look at this, the more you realise it's quite a difficult snooker. I think you can make contact, but not in a way that can ensure the red goes safe, or any red. I was speaking about and uh, it was actually closer to hitting that than what it first looked because he only had to go up a little bit more and he'd been laying onto that red by the pink so basically the shot here is just to miss the two reds and hit when you hit that right cushion I think he's trying once again. It's the red by the pink. Well, let's repeat almost carbon copy of the previous. Wow, and a mess. All right, hold for. Well, this is almost like a separate competition here with the fouls. Twelve each. Well, at least uh, it doesn't have to go back. I'd be quite relieved about that. <coughs> this plant, it, it, both players have looked at it. I mean, it, it's unusual that two reds would be dead set down a cushion like that. And if he plays it at any speed, of course, he could always rattle it. Goodness me, what a shot. Obviously, it might have to be on in the first place. And he's unlucky that the other red in the plant has now gone safe. Yes, this frame uh, is like swimming through glue, really. It's just tough. And there's only eight points in it. Oh, he's done his best to open things up there. Didn't quite happen as intended, eight. but... He's it's not his sort of frame. It's not either their sort of frame. He's still got a pot at this red. But he's not knocked it in. So after 26 minutes, Ronnie O'Sullivan leads by 15 points. The highest break in the frame is still only 11. One. Well, again, not struck well. He over did the screw, but he also nearly missed the pot. <coughs> Blue ball. Jimmy White, one. Well, that shot could have been played better. It's not left Ronnie with a lot to do on the safety here. To the point where he actually thought it was worth the risk of the pot. That was quite a difficult one to go for. Of course, there's the chance here if um, whoever pots his second last red could leave the most evil snooker imaginable. That wouldn't be difficult by any means.
really trying to break the shackles by playing that shot, just getting that red out of that little corner. I guess it's a start, Dave. All the viewers would have uh, certainly not expected to see what they think. Home Nations, hashtag. We thought we'd see breaks galore, didn't we? We still might, but this has been a very strange frame. Let's be honest, if you've tuned in late, you've not missed that much of this one. It's been a low-quality frame, balls went awkward. Ronnie O'Sullivan's got an issue with his new tip. And it's almost like he's put more pressure on Jimmy White. The fact he's seen O'Sullivan struggle, he knows he's got a good chance the way he's been playing, but he's not played a good frame either. Now, a left-handed shot, perhaps, for Mo, uh, for Mo Sullivan, who plays the, the red on the left cushion. Can he reach it right-handed? Oh, it seems to be a left-handed shot for someone like him, anyway. Albeit a difficult one. Moved on to the rest shot. He's not happy with it. Seems just about every shot has been awkward so far. Thank you. And you get days like that. What? Every shot has got a degree of difficulty about it that, that puts you off. Roy O'Sullivan, one. So O'Sullivan 15 in front with a chance at this last red. Struck that one very well. Doesn't matter about the blue being safe. In fact, that's a uh, help to him because he didn't need it. Yeah, struck that well. Cubal just off the side cushion. So, yellow and green, after all of that, to win this opening frame, it's been going 31 minutes. Not Six. quite the start we were anticipating between these two. Nine. If he pots the brown, the 13 will be the highest break of the frame. Thirteen. And he's developed the blue. So, despite... A few problems with queuing and with his tip. He's going to win the frame. Jimmy White's going to have to play as well and probably better than he has done so far. And he has played well in Glasgow this week. But it's been a struggle this opening frame before O'Sullivan finally got in with the last red to make this little winning clearance. The old pals act in Glasgow. Ronnie O'Sullivan wins a tough opening frame, 32 minutes but has made the telling clearance from the last red. He leads Jimmy White here at the Scottish Open by one frame to nil.